Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is Aim High here. Yes, the one, the only Aim High. The movie critic professional, mm. director exquisite. That's not a word. The screenplay writer Minya Sekata. Are you trying to make it Italian? That's you know what I'm saying? Like that's just kind of how. And you guys wouldn't understand those those little add-ons right there. Just something in the in the, in the thing that we like to call in the biz coops. That have coops, baby, and I got coops. You know what I'm saying? They look at me and they go, they go, is that? That's that guy. That's that guy walking. He knows a lot about movies, and I, you know what I'm saying? And I'm here right now, sneak peek, with my brother Omar to give you a review of Without Remorse, starring Michael B. Jordan. Oh God. Wait, what? Are, explain what coops are. You gotta have coops, baby. You gotta have coops to understand what coops are. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. This movie, starring Michael B. Jordan and Layla London. Who is Layla London? Is that her? Is Lauren that London? Lauren London. Lauren London. That's where I want to start. That's Lauren where I want to start. Yeah. Is I'm very highly disappointed that I did not see more of her. <laughs> like, very disappointed. Um, and ma mainly because I was driving in a, in a U-Haul for an A&P shoot and was on the radio, they were talking about this movie and this guy was like gassing this movie and I think it was like an ad for the for the radio station. But he was still gassing the movie in her favor. Like, hey, this is starring Lauren London. Nick died and she's gonna be in this. And it's kind of like, he broke down the whole like uh, dates is like when he died, when the script was given to her, all these things. And he was even like, I'm stoked to see her in this movie. And I was like, yes. Uh, I'm stoked to I'm see her. I'm also stoked to see her yeah, in this movie. Yeah. Total runtime, she might be in the movie. Six minutes and fifteen seconds. I wish I wish you were exaggerating. Like like you said the same thing. Every TikTok I've seen, every Instagram ad, every Twitter ad, Lauren London's face is there. I'm thinking, dang, this is gonna be a crazy little love story between those two. He's off to war. She's keeping it down at home. Six minutes. You you might be reaching for six. I minutes. might be reaching. Six minutes. Yeah. That's bad. I might be reaching. That's bad. Um, but for us to really get started, um, you know, first act, second act, third act. The first act of this movie, it this movie's a terribly paced movie. It 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 takes a long time for me. Well, okay, I'll be honest. It takes a long time for the movie to think that they get to a point where they think that I will care. I, I, I don't care at all during this movie, but where they oh, think shit. where they think <laughs> that I'm going to care is is it takes too long to get there. It starts off hot, but like you said, I don't I don't care about. I will say this. I didn't care. The beginning where they're 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 walking through the thing or whatever. Um, there is one scene where I was like, I got really excited because I thought it was gonna be dope. And that's the scene where they're walking. And spoilers, by the way, I guess. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. if you haven't seen this, you should know. Like, hey, we're about to talk about this. Um, it's a book. Go read the book. Yeah, go read the book. Uh, <laughs> me. Yeah, me and Omar read. Uh, anyway, so they're walking and it, and, it, and it gets it gets to a like a medium wide shot, but you you're on you're on both sides of the wall. And he yeah, shoots yeah. through the wall. Yeah, that's I was like that's cool. That was a really cool idea and really dope. And I was like okay, there's some level of creativity here, so I'm looking forward to it. But I feel like from that like start on, I feel like the movie just took too many wrong turns, like too many like ah like we probably should have kept. Lauren London alive. Like we probably should have like done these type of, I don't know. And, and I guess like the, that's the entire thing of this story is like, hey, he ha like this is why he's doing it is because he doesn't have anything really to, to go off of, you know? That's a dumb thing. But it just, I don't know, man. The, the whole thing kind of fell flat for me um, in the beginning, in the beginning of the movie. I, I feel like so. it start. It start like you said. It started off crazy high. They had some good action scenes, but I well a good action scene maybe two. Let me say this right now. If there's one thing I can't stand about an action movie, is an action movie that has little to no action in it or terrible action scenes. Um, it's a gripe that I have about Mortal Kombat, and we talk about that one at another time. I feel like when the action scenes in this movie were going on, they were almost duller than like the talking scenes. And yeah. that's and then for me it's like, all right, we're not watching an action movie. We're just watching some guys with guns or something like that. So at, at no point, I cared maybe at one point, but I didn't also realize Lauren London was gonna die. Two biggest things already for me right there, turn it off, turn it off. And I'll, and I'll say this, I'll say off. this, about the action in this movie, I think that there are there are highs for sure. Two of them? Um, Two of them? Yeah. Okay. And then there's a ton of lows. I just, I think they maybe in the, I don't know this movie was, or if this movie was really like curated for Michael B. Jordan, or if it was just kind of like, hey, 
this is just kind of an action movie and then he came up on the list to do it. I don't really know. I, I don't know the story about that. But it just felt like they relied on Dark Power and they relied on, like when writing it, it felt like there was no like questions in that writer writing room about, well, let's explain this or explain this or explain that. Or maybe we should have this go on as well to, to maybe help this scene. Or like I felt like they wrote it and it was the first draft that they wrote it and they were like, that's dope, let's send it. And then they sent it. Like it just felt like a first draft of a script in my opinion. Um, but which is another thing, like the dialogue in this movie is just kinda like, I don't know man. It it it, it just it it falls flat for me. But I'll say this. You made this this may be where we disagree. I was about to say, we can talk about it right now, because I know, I feel like I know what you're about to talk about. I did, however, think, even though this movie is a dog shit movie, I think that Michael B. Jordan delivered a really good performance. Aim is a liar. Aim I do think fetish. that. Fair I think off. that. Click I off. think that. Let me tell you something right now about Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, in every movie that he's ever casted in. We're about to fight. I'm just saying, I'm not at all, I'm saying. <laughs> There's probably only two movies where he doesn't take his shirt off. And I feel like him taking his shirt off takes away from him being an actor. Okay. If you watch this movie, there will not be a two minute span that Michael B. Jordan is on the screen where he doesn't take the opportunity to take his shirt off. That's one. I, okay, I have, a, I have a counter argument to that. Do you want me to- Go ahead. Okay, all right. In, in any movie, that those type of actors are in though. I feel like they all, like whether it's Christian Bale, okay. whether it's Bradley Cooper, okay. whether it's Johnny Depp, who are all considered really good actors and in my opinion, really good actors. Like they take their shirt off in, the, in movies like that too. And that's not, and that's not, that's, right? that's, like, just, that's just part of my issue. I feel like it takes away from being an actor. And part two is Michael B. Jordan never says more than two to three, and three is a stretch. Two to three lines at any given time. I do agree with that. Thank you. I do, he can't I act. do agree he with can't that. Act. No, I'm not saying I that. I can say, I'm not hey, saying hey, that. Hey, I'm hey. not saying tell that. Me, tell me, tell me. I, I think no. that, I think that that is a, and maybe I just haven't seen the right Michael B. Jordan movie. Um, I think that that is an issue in his, but I, I do look at like Creed, for example. Creed is not, is not a movie where he said two or three lines. Like he had some lines in there and he no, had some- No, he did not. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He had some meaningful dialogue in Creed. I, if you watch any Michael B. Jordan movie, he'll say lines like this. We've got to get there now. Somebody else will speak. Somebody else will speak. Yeah, we've got to get there ASAP. Somebody else will speak. Somebody else will speak. I don't understand how he's supposed to be a main character and he can't have more than two lines. Cause then, even if he does get a little bit deeper into the dialogue, we've got to get there now. Our lives depend on it. <laughs> and then they just sit back and like, What's we're supposed to go, ooh, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is going crazy. <laughs> As far as like actual film categories for this for this film, I think for me, chat, cinematography, pacing, sound design, music composition, and the screenplay are all the five big major factors of any film. I think the only place that they truly got an above average grade for me was sound design. Um, I thought the sound was really good. I thought I was in moments of action. I, w I like what little they had. The little that they had, I was glued. I was, I was in, you know, I was. I was, I was at least sound wise, like I believed everything that was going on as far as like uh, the weapons, everything that um, the buildings breaking to the explosives, everything like that, I thought that they did pretty well. However, that part of movies these days is getting easier to hit on because of the technology that we have uh, today with film. Um, I don't want to discredit anybody for their hard work or anything like that, but I'm just saying that in that sound department, it's easier to do things than it used to be. Um, like in the 90s when Harrison Ford was doing these type of movies with the Patriot Games, whatever, right? It was just, it's just easier to complete the sound of a movie. Music composition was okay. I, I, I didn't hate it. Like the, the modern music that they added as far as like whether it be rap or um, or piano music or, or whatever um, was decent. And then I thought the actual composition music as far as like a band was okay. It's probably in the, in the C, C somewhere in the very mid. The screenplay is dog shit. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know who wrote it. I don't want to know who wrote it because I don't want to like. I, I like it's a stain. Whoever it is, it's a stain on your career. So like, let me I, let me say this. Let me say this. I want to put a caveat on that. If anybody in the comments has read the book, if y'all say that this is like just like the book, slap like the book, I I will bump it up myself. And the only reason why here's I'm, here's what I'll say from the research that I read on that, uh, people said that. It was very much like the book, but details were missing that made them like made the book readers not like the movie. Uh, I, I think that that's so, what we always like like so what I I guess what I'm saying is it was very much like a Lord of the Rings type thing without those deep details that added to that like a movie like that. So which you know to be honest with you that is a big I don't know how to how I would say that like a big like it's just really hard to do that It's really hard to take a book and make it a movie It just is like it doesn't matter if it's Lord of the Rings if it's a Star Wars book if it's fucking this this type of book It doesn't really matter it, It's hard to take something that someone has already read and imagined in their mind and make it better for them Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, And that's the fact but I wanted to say if it was close to the book because if it was very far off of the book, then I would have like a bigger issue. Somebody took something that was already there and just said, you know what, all this sounds cool, but all we're gonna use basically is characters yeah. and the, the, the gist of it or whatever, and we're gonna go completely different. If it's close yeah, I to could, the book- I could, I could be wrong, but that's that's the research that I, I found on the internet was, hey, this was pretty close to the book, just a lot of details were missing. I feel like those are the and, people that imagined it though. Like Loki, like yeah. they, in their mind, they had a picture. So that's- But it, but it did not, it, but from what I also, like it did, like even with that being said, like even if you're like, yeah, but those are probably people who are anal about it. Yeah. Like it still was, if I remember correctly, was like less than 45% on Rotten Tomatoes from an audience perspective. So like people I don't think like this movie. The way a camera moves, I feel like audiences don't realize that there are rules to like the degrees in which you can turn cameras so that you don't like shock the audience or you don't, you know what I mean? You you kind of pull the audience with you as you're going through a scene. And there was a lot of jumps yeah. that I felt that, yeah. that, that, I don't know, like kind of forced me out of immersion that where I was like, whoa, that's bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think anytime you, it, it felt like this, it felt like there were some angles where, you know how you watch like your, like, <laughs> There's a difference from me showing you a Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings angle and me showing you like, you know, Tommy at community colleges like set up of a frame of an angle. Like, you know, you just know that like, hey, like there's something wrong with this one. Like this doesn't look like this, you know what I mean? And so for me, there were angles where I was like, yeah, I see the um, quality of the camera and the quality of the lens and it looks like it fits because it's in the same film. Um, but if I were to, if I were to just take those separate, like those angles, and do one with a really nice camera, and do one with a really, you would really truly see like how bad of an angle that yeah. some some angle that they tried to use, and and then that may just be like some you know the cinematographer going let's try some innovation because you know in action movies and in, and in these simple B tier movies like yeah you run through angles pretty quickly and you don't want to get too old so maybe you have to try some new things and get creative, um, but yeah man they just were not at their highest level um, in thinking of some of these camera angles and frame setups. If you guys like this movie review, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. You can find me on twitch.tv, aim high. You can find Omizi. His links are gonna be in the description. Do you wanna say anything? Twitter, YouTube, I always put the Twitter. It's always? It. Okay. Yeah, cause I always, before I get to 5,000 followers, I'm gonna tweet reckless stuff. But then as soon as you get to... It's gonna be commercialized. I might delete all the tweets to be all quite honest. Yeah. But after, first, before this, I'm gonna start talking about, like, communism. Alright. Um, YouTube as well. Yo! Instagram. You know, you know. He just says this shit because it's not his channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I hope we can do this again. Hopefully we'll see you guys next time. And I appreciate you guys for joining. And as always... Aim high, family barbecue, we're out.